Hey YouTube, this is Endicray Animist, and I'm bringing you the third round of this Historic Proper Tournament. I am running my Blue Black Zombie deck, and we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. I'm currently 1 and 1. I will play first. Uh, yes, I have the usual problem of not having blue source, but also having to do blue lands, so I have blue cards, I will keep it. I also have a pretty solid curve of turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. We'll see if we can make this work. Uh, turn one, fetching mummy. Okay, slither blade, interesting. Uh, there's a blue source, but I don't need it yet. So I'm gonna attack for one off the trade. I wonder what he's playing. Possibly, I guess it's gonna pump a, pump his guy up deck. Uh, since he's trying to be unblocked with a naga, so that's a very interesting choice. Oh, yeah, it looks like some kind of white uh, puppet or a deck of some kind. Yeah, it's like interesting. It sounds like that's gonna be a problem. Uh, what do we play here? Uh, I'm misplayed that horribly. I should play the swamp so I can play the bone slash. That was a big mistake. It's gonna be a tough game though. I can tell already. Uh, we will attack for one off for the try to get a counter on that flitter blade, but it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, he just takes the one. That's fine. This would be interesting. Round timer started. I really need my bounce spell soon. So it's like, deal with that slither blade, I think. Interesting. Okay, he hits Plogram. We'll give another champion, probably. Maybe one of the game's life. Yeah, Squire's Devotion. This is not going to go well. I can't tell. <laughs> that's a good draw, though. That's actually, that's actually a critical draw right now. So I will play the Bone Slasher. And I'm just going to pass here. If I can bounce the slither blade after he puts. He's, getting, he's still getting like three life here. But then I can give her two enchantments, and that'll be pretty good, I think. This needs two cards to get back, two cards, yeah. See what you got. You also get a token off, which is unfortunate. You just attack, interesting choice. Okay, sure. Another healer to Pilgrim, where you can search up, I wonder. Starlight Mantle, interesting. That's very interesting. So, what do we play here? I think I can bounce him now, then. Slow him down a bit, hopefully. A massive token and just smash face here. See how he blocks. Okay, don't block that guy. Oops. Uh, that's fine. Takes a solid bad damage there. Play the eternal and if I can draw a um, what's it called? A gem bomb blue I might be able to win here. It's not over yet though. So let's see what you do. Okay, Squire's Motion on the Pilgrim, interesting choice. He's going to attack. Yes, he'll gain two life here. I could double block, I think I want to do that. I think I can double block here. To kill the Pilgrim, I lose my Eternal, but that's fine. He'll gain two life still. Unless he has something to pump him up, which would be really bad right now. Oh no, oh no! The blowouts! Okay, that's really, that's rough, and that's not a good draw either. I'll still swing with the team here and see what he does. That is not good. Now he gained four life there as well. And he keep gaining life. This is not going well for me. I lost two guys. That was, yeah, that was that was a blowout. Okay, he can keep pumping his pilgrim here. I think. I keep gaining life. Passive on the slash that hurts as well. Slow blades back. At least doesn't have a vigilance right now. You you can get a, a land. Not good. Uh, also swing, keep swinging, try to get some pressure on, but not doing so well here. He takes it all, goes to 10. Yeah, Jim Bumbler is not going to be enough, though. I'm going to recur at least, at least two of them, or recur, or one in a recursion spell. He leads Pilgrim number 3, oof. Okay, Cartouche. That's pretty good. Tax me for the two, I'll take it. He gains two. Ledger Brew is not bad, helps me with math my army a bit. No pun intended, just getting pun till intended. Uh, so we get another token here. Um, how do I, do I attack? Yeah, I think I keep attacking here. This is a mantle though, which gives plus one. <sighs> oh boy. This is gonna be a tough one.
beat a resistance. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not waiting for you guys. I don't think. Well, maybe I might be able to. Once again, if I drop a looter, I might be able to pull it off. Sentinel's eyes, that's rough. Alright, he's about to gain through more life, though. Probably even more, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just, he's just getting so much life here. I don't think there's a way out. I'll take it all, I guess. Okay, he goes up to, what, 13 now? Yeah. Uh, 5. And we are going to scoop it up. Let's just go to game 2. And, uh, it's not over yet. I'll play this guy and I'll pass. I need to remember he has Scarlet Mantle, and I need to kill this guy somehow. I need to, like, massive block him, I think. Scarlet Mantle gives Hexproof, which means these guys aren't, aren't going to be useful. There's Slither Blade. Tap everything. I will, you know, I'm just going to chump this guy this time, actually. Chump with this, and hope that I can pull something off here. He's at 17. So much life gained. Oof. Yeah, I'm not waiting this one, guys. Actually, I'm, I am dead, actually, because I hit all the blockable stuff, so... A uh, good game. Let's just see what he has in his hand. If he discards not a card. He, okay, so he has not a card much trust. That's fine. No attacks, scoop it up. Okay. Cyborging time. What do I have here? So here I'm gonna need removal. Lots of removal. Uh so I'm gonna cut the um Council is actually pretty still pretty good here. I can cut the blood beckonings. And I think I can cut Raid the Dragger as well actually this time. I'll go too late again, so let's cut those well. Bone Slash was good, Plague Quay's not bad. Uh, we'll start, start by adding the cruelties in. You can have me Hexproof. How many cards in my deck currently? 60. So, I want the Libation. What do I cut for Libation is the question. Hmm. Maybe the One Drops? You get some One Drops, maybe. And yeah, let's cut the, let's cut the Stewards for the Libation. But we'll, we'll, that puts me back in a sec, so. Three libation, and then we'll put back in one steward. I'll try this. Yeah, I'll try that. Just go all in our removal here. That should help, I think, a lot. I will play first. Okay, well, this has a lot of removal, not much else, but. I mean, Callus Missile will make it through, so we'll keep it. See if we can just keep him off creatures for long enough to, stay, to get an army going. Here we go. Uh, swamp, go. So I don't want to use Callus Missile until he enchants his guy. Yep, slowly laid, fine. Uh, we have a good draw, though. So I can play this here. And then when I bounce whatever he plays, I can, uh... This missile and a mass and hits for some good damage. That seems like a good way to do stuff. Okay. What are you going to play? Jammit wise. Or are you going to play in The Ox. Oh, that's a true choice. That's a true inclusion. Uh, I'm fine with that, though. I, I'll attack. Hit him for one. I could have bounced. I don't think I need to bounce yet. I don't want to bounce yet, though, so. Sure. I could actually kill the Ox here, but he's just not worth killing, I don't think. Play Eternal instead, say go. Yeah. Okay, card two. Interesting. Okay, now he's getting powerful. That ox is now a problem. Luckily, I have some answers to it. A couple. Which is how do I want to do this? Huh, let me think. Let's play. I'm going to bounce the ox, I think. And then play the mummy. So bounce the ox, get rid of the cartouche. Amass. Combat. Heat for some damage. Play the mummy and pass. He's in our land here. If I don't draw land next round, I'll probably cycle the polluter. To look for land. Ox is not, not great against Eternal, by the way. Okay, we did not draw land, but we did draw another Lazar Reaper. So the question is do we cycle first? I think I'll cycle first and hoping to find a land. Hit him for four. Did not draw land, unfortunately. So we'll swim with the team, see what he does. How he blocks. You should not block the DA. Yeah, okay, block there, sure. Block the F, makes sense. Takes three, that's fine. Pass turn. Feeling pretty good, much better about this than last game. Killer's Hawk, interesting. I can kill that if I need to, though. Snow Slip Blade, okay. So land is good, what do we do here? We're going to have to swim with the team. 
see how he blocks. So we have plenty of attack effect. Uh, you remove one hand if you want to double block or something. Okay, okay. How do you think about it? Block with double block there. Ooh, that's good. That's gonna be good. So we're gonna get him like that. Yeah, that's, that's good. So then we're gonna cruelty one of these guys to for the blowouts. To two for one him. Not quite as much of a blow as with me when he did his thing last turn though. So he goes to four. He can gain one though, so he'll be at five. He's gonna enchant the he has his third land. Okay, he's gonna enchant the hawk, probably. One with the wind, okay, so that's gonna gain him three. If I can make him oof, that's uh, that's rough. Okay, ouch. That's a problem. So much life gain. Um I'm gonna make him uh, let me think. If I make him sack a creature, he'll sack their ox. If I make him sack a enchantment, he'll probably sack the sentinel's eyes. I can get that back. I'll do the creature, I think. Give him the option to just lose his ox, I guess. But that that's four attorney. He has vigilance error, life gain, no. My nemesis nemesis of all agrodex. Insane amount of life gain. He's finally does that hawk though, and I'm running out of stuff to do. Oh nuts. Ow. He gains four. That's not gonna do it, I don't think. I can play a bunch of dudes though at least, but that's not gonna save me. Not against this much life gain. Well, fast turn. Nothing I can do against this massive hawk. Found. Yeah, man. So much life gain. Ow. I had him at like, what, four, six, I think? Or was it nine? Well, I'm dead here, so good game. Play this, play this, and scoop. Okay, GG's. Okay. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.